as Ray. Yeah. You think of the challenge and the opportunity this week you guys got? Yeah, absolutely. And, and we, you know, we know in this conference uh, there's a lot of talented teams, and, and you know those those guys right there in Houston, are, are, you know, year in year out, one of those football teams, and obviously what they've done, you know, this season and the talent they're able to put on the field it starts obviously on defense with those guys with Ed Oliver, who's one of the you know best players in the country. So absolutely everything you just said it's a challenge and it's also a great opportunity for the world. You guys are 300 rushing 300 yard rushing games are becoming a norm. What do you think the, uh, of the job the guys are doing lately? Yeah just you know considering uh, the changes that you know have been made up front and, and having to change because of injuries and multiple reasons. I mean it's you know that's huge accomplishment to, to our football team and those guys up front the running backs. Uh, and us as an offensive unit. So excited about that. Uh, excited to still know that there's still work to be done and still things to clean up. Uh, but I mean, that's a heck of a heck of a feat and something that we're obviously excited about. A beneficial, you know, you got one back that can hit a home run and then another guy comes in and it does the same thing. How beneficial is that for you guys that you have multiple guys that can take it the distance? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can have two talented players uh, at any position, but especially that position where you can uh, roll those guys kind of one, two punches. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very beneficial for us and excited about those two guys, uh, what they've done and what they're going to continue to do. What have you heard about Oliver? Is he planning on playing? Is he still questionable? Um, I mean, who knows? Who knows? We're we playing. I mean, we're planning on like he's playing. Yeah. Obviously, without giving away your game plan, um, you got a, quite a challenge for your freshman center. You have to do some things maybe to help him out in that matchup? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, whether it be freshman or, you know, anybody else they, that we've seen on tape, I mean, he's, like I said, he's one of the top five players in the country. And, uh, you know, you've got, you got to scheme some different things. And obviously you're aware of, of him and where he's at. Um, you know, I mean, you've got to, you know, like I said, just scheme that and be aware of where he is. We've got a couple of my very sense of really good use. Number eight, number 22, what do you see when you watch them on tape? Yeah, both talented. Eight's a big, tall, rangy, physical guy. Um, he's strong, you know, he's, he sets the edge. Um, you know, 22 is an athletic guy around the box. I mean, they got athletes all over the field. Um, you know, they, they do a good job schematically of what, they, what they've done. And, you know, they put their guys in a good situation to be successful. Number 22 is more of an inside guy, correct? Mm -hmm. Your young freshman offensive lineman can talk about the confidence they're gaining with the team winning and the experience they're getting. Yeah, I mean, just kind of go back over the last three games with those guys, um, just continue to get better. Um, and I mean, every rep they take on, on a Saturday night, uh, just a gains experience for those guys. Um, you know, just practice reps and, and repetition. Um, you know, it's what builds that consistency and what builds that confidence for them. But, you have really two young, talented guys and a true freshman, and then meets, you know, being a redshirt freshman. So you're playing with three young guys right there um, that are really, you know, coming along for, for their age. Right. Jordan tweeted about how unhappy he was with his performance last week, putting the ball on the ground. How is this week of practice been? Yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's an area we focus on and, and you know, we take pride in, so it's, it's something that, um, you know, he's a, he's a guy that holds himself to a high level and a high standard of being a really good player. How has Randall look running around this week? He's looked good. He's looked good. You know, moving around with him. What do you think the job he, he's been doing this year? I mean, for a redshirt freshman to come in and have a season like he is. It's yeah, I mean, just just talk about just like those guys. You know, it's it's uh, those young guys have just continually got better. Uh, every rep and every play they play on a Saturday night just gains them that much more experience. And just you know, it's about consistency. Uh, about being really good, being a really good practice player, being able to take you know from the film room to the field, and being going out and executing on Saturday. So, guy who's highly talented, he's got a great attitude, highly competitive kid. Um, you know, he's got a really bright future ahead. Coach, is there any chance we'll see Duran or Elijah this week? Um, I don't know right now. I don't know.